My name is Dr. Narelle Wildberger and I'm currently a postdoctoral fellow here in the Department of Neurology at Washington University. Alzheimer's disease is a devastating neurodegenerative disease and of the top 10 diseases that affect individuals in the United States, this is the one that keeps increasing every year, whereas others like diabetes, cancer, heart disease are actually declining in their rates of mortality. This technology that we have that we call Silk Sims is an imaging technology that allows us to measure biomolecules and drugs in tissue or cells at the nanometer level. We want to understand the rates of pathology in human brain, that is the rates of plaque growth as well as the rates of tau tangle growth in human brain, because this has not previously been possible. I'm a clinical neurologist here at Washington University. My work here has two major research roles. One is in the lab where we try to understand the process of Alzheimer's disease, and that includes what causes the disease, how can we detect the disease, and ultimately how can we treat the disease better. It's not possible with current technology to measure changes that occur at the atomic level in a human brain. But what we can do is we can use a tracer, a label, to tag new proteins, new molecules as they're being made during life. And then after someone passes away, they can donate their brain, and that brain sample can be analyzed by this technique called stable isotope labeling kinetics nanosims, which is the combination of two approaches using these stable isotopes to label the changes in the brain and the nanosims to actually image it on a nanometer scale and to determine where the changes occurred during life. So it provides us a special window to go back in time and say when and how the brain changes occurred in living people. With this technology, we're looking for partners in pharmaceutical industry to help advance and accelerate therapeutic drug development because we're currently working on establishing what is the rate of pathology in the human brain and human Alzheimer's disease. Norell Wildberger has been leading these studies from the ground up. She's doing a fantastic job and I expect great success from these studies.